Uh oh. Oh, okay. I was like, did I press the right button? I did. All things should be pretty much good to go, I think. I do not know. Let me go ahead and open this up today. Okay. I'm going to put this over here and then add this. Get in that. That way it's way easier. There we go. Uh, aha, here you are. Here you are. What was I listening to earlier? Okay. There we go. Um. Okay, perfect. Hello, book fan. How are you? Good evening. I am well prepared for tour day. You see all the lovely shells today, and I'm Buddha. Hello, Flora Nawanu and Swifty and Butterbeans and Cherry. Hello. Welcome in, friends. We are doing some lovely shell tours today. Um, well, we literally just started, so we haven't done anything yet, but we have shell tours today. So if you want to get your tour, tour, shell toured, um... Make sure you do the point redemption so it's way easier. Era Dark, hello. And Witchy Jack, and hello. And Sakura, welcome in. Oh, you got my coloring book. Oh, perfect. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy all the pages. I was really proud of all of them. I think my favorite one was the one that the character's on a log or something. That was my favorite one. <laughs> Do, 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 do. But yes, um, two more days. But yeah, you have to do it through the point redemptions, and you should see a redemption called Shell Tour Day, and that where you can put your gallery ID. Um, it's the living room shell, the living room one. But my day's been pretty good though. I have I cannot complain. I've been mostly just working all day editing and recording videos and working on a few little art pieces but nonetheless um it's been going it's been going i've been recording mostly so i've been talking all day but it's been it's been good it's been good it's hot outside today though it's like 93 degrees so it's a little bit too um toasty a little bit toasty yeah, this one will be for the uh, living room shell challenge that we had done a while back ago. I didn't really talk much about it because I just keep on forgetting. But essentially that is what it is. Hold on. But how has everyone say been though overall? It should be under the hashtag spring living shell. Yeah, there we go. Domino's pizza. You know, I have not had Domino pizza in a hot minute. Interesting. What did you get from Domino's? Anything in particular? The wings, the pizza itself. What is wrong with my eye? I've been playing Dreamlight Valley all day. Honestly, I I need to play that game again. I keep just for, keep on forgetting to pick it up and play it because I know there's gonna be a new update soon. And I'm thinking, when's the appropriate time to play it for myself? Because <laughs> I know, I think the star path I want to complete so badly. That's the thing. The star path is what I want to complete. Because I know it's going to be good. In the end, once I can like get everything. But no, I didn't see what we're getting. I guess, well, technically the next update we're getting is Vanellope from Wreck-It Ralph. And then they had shared a few other things on Twitter regarding um, the Disney snapshot thing where we're getting Dreamlight like weekly, which honestly is, is very nice. I could use some more Dreamlight every week. That would be very nice. 
But what is it? Oh yeah, Dream Dream Snaps update. It says, oh, it's weekly moonstone. That's what it is. Each week everyone will participate will earn a minimum of 300 moonstone. This amount can increase depending on your score and your placement in this week's challenge. Oh, even better, you can earn 50 more moonstone per week by voting. It's not dream light, it's moonstone that we get weekly. Which honestly, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining because I'm out of Moonstone. Like, I have none. <laughs> uh, also, Lauren, hello. Welcome in. You need some build vibes? Yes. So every month, we usually have like a shell challenge that we do. Usually, it's like a room. So it's easier and quicker. But sometimes we do like a full-blown, you know, house type of thing. But this time around, I wanted to do a living room shell. Just that way, we can kind of get some inspiration for living rooms. And we have a lot to tour, so we're going to see what we get out of it. Um, we're always getting new ways to gain. We're also getting new ways to gain Moonstone Weekly and apparently entirely in the game. So no social media involved, which is good. Because not everyone has social media. And I'm, start I'm starting to get off of social media because it's toxic and stressing me out. I'm honestly grateful for the room shells as well. They're a lot easier and less stressful. Where did I put the list? Here it is. I was like, I can't find the list. Let me see where it's. <laughs> uh, did Twitch make me at myself? No, I don't think so. I think when you put like your actual like Twitch name, it highlights it. Yeah, that's also very true. Okay, so I have the list right here. Um, we have six so far on the list. We'll probably tour all of them because it's not that many. Um, but we have Book Fan, Aerodark, Swifty, Mira, Witchy Dragon, and Owanu so far as of right now. So we'll tour from the top to the bottom. And then as more come in, we'll just like tour the rest. But I might be able to tour all of them anyway because we don't have that many. Now, where did Book Fan go? I always see yours because it's like right there. But why do I not see yours? It happens every time. Hmm. Wait, did you do this one, book fan? I don't know. Let me search your gallery name, because sometimes the gallery is a little bit funky. Let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. I don't see yours. Unless... Oh! The hashtag isn't there. That's why I didn't see it, but I see it now. Is it this one, the reader's retreat? Cause it's the living room. Is that the one? Ooh, Stardew. I need to play Stardew again. You like room shells because I can clutter a small space as much as possible. <laughs> you know, I, that's a mood because same. I need to like work on cluttering my, my rooms a little bit better. Okay, so this is book fans. It's a reader retreat. It's using the book nook kit as per usual. All the items, basically. A little bit of cats and dogs, the rug, and then seasons, we have the door. Okay. So, oh, so basically, if you download this room, you're going to miss the door and the rug if you don't have seasons or cats and dogs, which is not really, you know, as much out of it. So, yeah. Hehe. <laughs> Base game again. Do you feel like you're getting better at base game, Moanu? Because I feel like you are. This is very cute. I haven't had a chance to really use the book nook kit that much, but I was watching, um, I think Karen and Connie on YouTube, and I remember they had used um, these particular bookshelves in like their A-frame house that they did a couple months ago. And it's so cool, or a couple days ago, actually. I really love the book nook kit so much. Like look at all these books. I don't even read that much, but I love the stacking. I love all of this. This pleases me. The fact that you can stack these as high as possible, it's kind of funny, but I like it. It's nice and cozy, have all the books in the world. That's good. That's good. Oh, you won't be back until 8.30. You would like to be here for it. Oh, good, all oh, good. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be, we will be here when you return to Happy Co. 
Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, very cool. Very cute. I like what you did with the arch though. The arch over here where you put like the books this way and then you put the TV under it along with like the chair and the, the little lamp. That's really cute. I need to start doing that more often. I hope that we do get more like modular type like things again because we had them with Dream Home Decorator and that was a really good benefit for like building and then having this for bookcases is even better especially when people are like building like a library in their own home you know oh you just don't want to have all the, the pack installed yet oh okay that makes sense also Jacqueline welcome in how are you doing today it's good seeing you Sometimes I forget the room shelves because usually I just leave the description in. So, uh, you can't do that with rooms. True. True. But very cute though overall book fan. Very nice. Very nice. Also Angel, hola, how are you? It's good seeing you today. But can we get some lovely claps in the chat please? And thank you for book fan for that lovely room. Claps all around everyone. Very cozy. <laughs> I remember the last time I missed your tour in my room. Yeah, I know. I go very quickly with the tours sometimes. Because I try to get through all of them. At least in one day. That's my plan. <laughs> um, But very, very good. We do have a wheel that we'll spin probably later um, today for the next show. That we may or may not build today. I honestly... What is that? I do not know. Um, where is it at? Hold on. Uh, that is definitely not it. You know, personally, I don't even know where I put this wheel, but I will find it later. In the meantime, you shall go into the next build, which is Air Dark. You are next. Modular furniture is so annoying, though. They disappear whenever you reload the lot. Wait, they do? Wait, even with move objects on? That's a little bit strange. Did you just eat me, Owanu? Well, I guess I have to end the stream now. Thanks for coming, everyone. I have to end now since Owanu yeeted me out of the stream. It's fine. Bye. Um. <laughs> um okay. Era Dark, yours is right here. <laughs> oh, even with move objects under glitch? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. I've only used them like once. <laughs> but I just got here. <laughs> you know, every once in a blue moon, the Yeet command always gets me, but I find it so funny. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my ban from meeting. It's like forward slash ban Owanu. Mm. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, Aerodark, Dark, you are up. You are next. <laughs> um, but they built a paranormal living room. Uh, this living room is paranormal style inspired. It includes a fireplace to keep warm, an easel, a, a little office section, and a bookshelf. Ghosts may or may not be included. Interesting. Use it at your own risk. Well then. You know, you may or may not, you know, be scared to death, but you know, that comes with the job. What can we do? You love the command. I think it's so funny. I'm glad that I included it a long time ago uh, for the command. Hopefully we have more commands in the future. <laughs> but this is very cute. It's gotten me thinking the other day when I was working on my disenchanted build video. That's posting tomorrow, by the way. I realize that we don't really have any stuff packs that really were like a banger, like paranormal. And I really, really love the paranormal stuff pack. And it was the last stuff pack we got before they stopped making them. I'm hoping that they bring them back eventually because it had so much potential and it still does. I think they were like taking a break from it just to kind of reevaluate things, but. I don't know, but I love the wallpaper. I love the furniture. I love all like the deep reds you have in here. Oh, you can't see a thing on my mobile. I just gotta have the fire at my laptop for these, for these epics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The color scheme is so nice. Like the desk over here came from paranormal. Like the thing over here came from paranormal. 
the couch, like this couch, that armchair, and like this couch over here all came from Paranormal. And it's so good. I love the wall art. I love the wall sconce. The All the photos that you have or paintings are really nice. A large classic painting. Landscaping. Classic. I don't think, my sims have never painted this one. This one, and then like, well, no, I think my sims have painted this one one time, but it's so rare. This is very nice. Ooh, what's that? <gasps> Ooh, wait, my sims have never painted these things before in their entire life, and they're all classic paintings? Wow. Interesting. I really want the Grim Reaper pack. Honestly, I wouldn't mind that. Reap souls and also have like a Grim Reaper job. Also, Black Rose, welcome me in. Oh, you've I hidden some things. Oh, you have. My theory is that uh that COVID messed up their schedule. Yeah, I think so. It did as well. But I think also it kind of helped them to kind of reevaluate the stuff packs, I guess. Is that a child? Oh my god. There are children in here. Oh my gosh. That is uh, Little Sims, you can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> you know, honestly, you know, the brown hair, it matches. <laughs> Mellow, hello, welcome in. Oh, your Sim is named Pride and painted all of them. Oh, that's really cool. Do they have level 10 in painting? That's really cool. There's children over here. That's scary. There's another one over there. That's, why are there children in here? Oh my, <laughs> there are children abort mission. We must back out of this build. It is haunted. It is scary. We have to leave. <laughs> it's cursed. <laughs> it's very good though. Very cool. <laughs> very good overall. <laughs> we must abort the mission. <laughs> but can we get some lovely claps in the chat, please? And thank you uh, for that lovely build by Aerodark. Very good, very cursed, very scary. <laughs> Yeet the children. Um, taking info from The Sims 3, leaving the baby on the floor. Honestly, yes. Also, Rebecca, thank you so much for the resub for 18 months, by the way. Can we get some hype in the chat? Please and thank you for that brand new resub. Oh my. But thank you, thank you for the continued support. I hope you get the emotes again for another monthy month. Larn in the barn. That's a very unique username. I like that. It's haunted like Taylor Swift's song. Yes. And speaking of haunted and Taylor Swift, Swifty, you are next. You are next on the list. Let's see. Oh, it's cowplant underscore forum. Okay. Let's see. Here it is. Um, It's haunted by the spirit of the 100 baby. You know, honestly, I believe it. The 100 baby will forever be haunting my dreams because that challenge alone is horrifying. <laughs> if y'all need a haunted living room, you're welcome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so next that we have is a uh, Swifty. So they basically turned the entire shell into like a little mini house, which honestly, it's a gigantic house, but I love it. I love it either way. Um, oh, we'll just go to the front door. It's fine. I like the roof though. And I honestly, I wasn't like really sure if the the uh, the shell was too big or too small. But the fact that you made this into a whole house is crazy. Like good crazy. I'm like, wow. I need to build smaller. <laughs> Well, that's very impressive. I like little sandals. I like all this stuff. You know also what got me thinking? I saw this on the on the gallery before I started streaming. And I was like thinking to myself, why don't we have like a single tile Murphy bed? We have like the double bed, but what like a single one? Single Murphy bed. That would be perfect, right? I've always wanted one of those. They don't exist, but it's a good idea. Also, Dab, hello. Welcome in. How are you? It's good seeing you today. We've already been starting our two hours. I like the kitchen and how small it is. It's very nice. 
You'll have to wiggle your way through the whole thing, but it works. And here's the bathroom. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, it's cute. Utilizing the space very good. It's nice. How was your stream, by the way, Dad? Hopefully it was good. Also, Freya, welcome in. How are you? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tour Tuesday, everyone. We're doing shell tours. <laughs> and then here's the backyard, of course, with the wedding arch, the gardening plots, the grill, and also the lovely, fantastic picnic table. Yes. <laughs> but welcome, welcome in, everyone. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome in, Raiders. Hello, Warlord, and Bookish, and Kenya, and Kina, and Ishtar. Hello, friends. I totally didn't forget tours for today. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. But welcome, welcome in, friends. Let me give you a little quickie quick shout out. Um, but how was the rest of your stream? How did it go? Hopefully it all went really, really well and so well. And life has been treating you kindly. Um, but yes, we are doing shell tours today. And we just toured... Um, Swifties build, which I think is very, very cool. They turned a whole shell into a house, which I think is very cool. Impressive. Also, flooring demo and neon and uh, Link. Hello, welcome in. I am doing great today. I've actually had a pretty nice day, mostly working on a lot of videos. I've been trying to like pre record a bunch of videos in advance for the, like, the next couple of weeks, um, but nonetheless, it's been pretty good. A lot of talking <laughs> has been commencing today. It is 93 degrees, however. But can we get some lovely claps in the in the chat, please? And thank you for I am a Swifty. Very good. Very proud. Oh, you're playing your short life legacy. That's right. Um, played around with the real estate mod. Okay. How do you like that mod? Because I have it and it's so good. My Sims just bought a vacation home recently, and that negotiation battle was brutal. But that's so good. I love that. Yeah, Wednesday in uh, New Zealand. Yes. I live in the past. How is the future, Freya? <laughs> also, Chicken and Cosmic Oliver. Hello. Welcome in, friends. Happy Tuesday or Wednesday, wherever you are in the world. Hopefully, life has been treating you kindly. The weather, at least, because this weather over here ain't so much. Also, Jen, thank you for the resub, by the way, for two months. I really appreciate that. Oh, the sticker that you sent for St. Jude always brings me brings a smile to your face. Oh, I'm so glad it does. You know, honestly, when chipping out all those stickers, I was very happy to write all the letters and send them your way. Good thing it like it got to everyone in time and safely. I'm glad. Oh, you're planning on downloading it tonight for sure. Very good. It's fun. I honestly I feel like it could improve even better. But like what could they add? What's the survive mod? I've never heard of that one. Also, Elena, welcome in. You just want to say hello, but you can say have a good, you have to run errands. All good, all good. <laughs> Adulting is a scam. I agree with you 100%. But hey, you will get through it because we all get through it. Day in and day out, slowly but surely. <laughs> um, I'm really, really, wait, I'm feeling proud of myself. I managed to actually wash, fold, and put away my laundry in one day. I'm very proud of you. I will get there one day, eventually. I did wash my dishes and put them away all at the same time. So laundry, however, not so much. Dishes though, yes. <laughs> oh, you reinstalled the bank mod and bills. Very good. I should probably reinstall those two mods as well. That's very good though, Neon. You didn't want to paint the outside, so I painted black. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Um, so next up on the docket is Mira and they have done a pastel living with a tea room. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. The weather is warm yet. Yeah, it's still winter. 
That's so weird that it's winter, but it's warm. Because, like, isn't, like, the equator different? Oh, the family moved out of their own little tiny apartment and found a little cute family home. We're about to start Gen 2. Ooh, that's so exciting. I cannot wait to watch the VOD back. Do you have those VODs on YouTube uploaded already? Because I'm excited to see it. Hehe. <laughs> Dishes are your enemy. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't have that many many dishes, so it wasn't the end of the world yet. Oh, this is really cute. Don't remind me about laundry. I need to wash mine, but I keep forgetting. I'll let it sit there for a hit for a hot minute. But this is very cute, though. This is really adorable. I like how you made like a whole like setup. You got your living room in here with like your couch. And your windows and curtains and your TV and your bookcase. Soaking your laundry and like your gamer setup. This is so cool. This is cute. I love everything about this, honestly. That's a nice background, honestly. And like the tea room with the hot pot from Snowy Escape. That is very nice. I hope you expand onto this like theme. Because you can do something with this, I believe. Yeah, this is very nice. Uh, yeah, that's true. I probably should use pa paper plates do help. But then I don't have any. I should buy some eco-friendly paper plates so that way I can recycle them. Yeah, very cute. Also little shoes and the umbrella. Very nice. That's cute. You want this room? You can download it. It's on the gallery if anyone wants to download any of these rooms. They're on the gallery under the hashtag Spring Living Shell. Yeah, nice and soft color scheme. Mm -hmm. You're working on it next. I'm so behind. It's okay. Also, Dap, if you got to lurk and do all your post stream stuff and eat some food, feel free. We'll be here just hanging out, doing some tours. This could be like an in-law living. Yeah, that's true. Swap out like the, the couch with a Murphy bed. And that way they can still like sit on the couch and sleep at the same time. Yeah, that could work. That could definitely work. I like that. Very nice. Can we get some lovely claps in the chat though? Very good. Uh, oh, kind of meant in reality. Oh, <laughs> you know, honestly, it'd be really nice if we could like take a gallery build from The Sims and like put it in real life. That would be nice, but for free. Cause I ain't trying to pay those gallery prices, <laughs> but I can understand though. Yeah, I wish the same. If I could build my dream mid-century modern house living room for free, I would take it. <laughs> I really would. One of these days, if money was no option, I would just go crazy with the decor. With a lot of mid-century modern things. But next up, friends, is a witchy dragon. And they built a family living room. A family living area designed to be at the front of the house. The Sims love the two and a little bit more. Interesting. But two, you say? But two? Hmm. Questionable. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, so I didn't realize there was a stream today. Oh yeah, so if you're not in the Discord, if anyone is not in the Discord at all, um, I always upload my schedule over there and I also upload the schedule here on Twitch. So that way you kind of know. But to let you all know my schedule, it's every single day, um, Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. Central, uh, Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Unless something changes, but mostly I'm always here at the same time, 6 p.m. every day. Um, but yeah, IRL, IRL Mother would be night nice, would be great. Yeah, it would. Oh, whoa. Wow. That's, you know, wow. Okay, but why do I like it though? I don't know why, but I like, what is that? I like the white. I like this. 
I don't know why, but I do. I really like it. Something is like, something's good about it. Like everything, of course. But it's like, I like it. Like the bookcases, very nice. I like it in the white with the subtle green touches. And like this over here with the fireplace on a platform. Come on me. Just gonna take some uh some screenshots here. Yeah, this is very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> uh Witchy Dragon, you did a really good job on this room. This is very nice. I know. I'm stealing all of your ideas. Literally all of your ideas. <laughs> But I like this. I like that Yoda has a chair. You know what? You're the only, well, no, actually, you know what? Thinking about right now, you're the only person, the only one who gave Yoda a comfortable place to sit. Out of all the things, this lovely child has been put in a toilet, a shower, a pool, a stove, but never a chair. So thank you. The baby needed an upgrade. So thank you for actually helping him. <laughs> if you could have seen the stuff I have seen Yoda in, it is absolutely absurd. But never a chair. Sometimes in a fish tank. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> and enjoy your luck, Happy Co, by the way. My old man cat, um... Um, Adric has just joined and he just meowed at you purring a lot. Oh, very nice. Oh, no, you're all good, Kath. All good, all good. Tuesdays are weird, but also Mondays are weird too. But yeah, very good overall with Jack and very, very nice. I mean, I'm very curious to see what you do to expand on this build for like the next room. But I like it. Very good. Goru's our child. <laughs> I was able to do your lots of mean this evening. Oh, good. You still miss swim practice, but I'm going back tomorrow. Good. Good, 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 good. I'm glad you were able to do your practice though today. Yeah, the table clutter. Mm hmm. And now, if you want to download any of these bills, they're all in the gallery under Spring Living Shell. That way, you'll be able to find everything in one place. Next up is Owanu. Owanu, you're ready. Woohoo. And enjoy your lurk, Lily Skywalker. I once tried to make Yoda a house. Make Yoda a house and couldn't finish a wall. It is definitely a lot of effort sometimes. I want to give Goru a house of his own. But I'm like, what do I even do? You know, it, do I make it a tiny home? Do I make it a big home? If Goru was a sim, what would they do? What would they look like? We usually do them once a month uh, for the shell challenges. The next one will be another rune shell, but we have to spin the wheel to decide what it will be. And I honestly cannot remember what it was or like where the wheel was at because I made one. And I honestly can't remember where I put it. Like I physically, physically cannot remember where I put it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can find it on my notion board. Sometimes I can find it on here, but sometimes I can't. Hmm. Um, wheel. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be fine. Okay, that's fine. Um, if anyone can remember, I think the only things we have left, hold on, let me check the gallery real quick. Hold on, hold on. The only ones that we have left per se for rooms, because we already did the kitchen, bathroom. Yeah, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, living room, dining room, study, out. Ooh, 
So the last two that we have left is outdoors and like a career based room or miscellaneous. Okay. I just can't remember. So that will be the next one that we'll do um, when we spin it towards the end of the stream. Oh, you might make a house out of, oh, out of Yoda's. Oh, well, that's more classy. <laughs> that's interesting. I like that. I like that. Okay, so this one is more of a classier type living room. Very elegant. Big, gigantic, flat screen TV. Elegant couches and chairs. Good curtains, good wallpaper. I use this plant pretty much every single day, but never in this swatch. I love the lamp. Oh, it's very cute. Oh, wow, no, this is very nice. It's all base game too. Completely base game. No other packs were used. So you can definitely say base game has come a long way and you can make a really good room just by using base game. I'm just saying base game is calling our name. Enjoy your luck pearl by the way. Yeah. Oh, you missed out on the rest of the rooms. Can I still do the room shelf for fun? Yeah, you can feel free. That's what they're made for. Of course, they should all be under my gallery ID. And then you can like search by rooms and they should be like the blank ones you can like um, select. But yeah, very cool, very cute. I like that. I'm curious on what you're gonna do to expand on the room. Base game minus that one working plant. Oh yeah, from the holiday pack, eh. I usually just count that one as base game in a way because the holiday one is free and everyone should have it by now. And you made it all base game for Simsy's puzzle shell. See, the thing is, I want to do that shell challenge, but at the same time, it's like I'm scared to do it. Because puzzles are nerve wracking. That's good. Did it take you very long to do it? Yeah, that that picture is base game. Yes. Um, This one right here on the wall. Yeah, they added in more swatches to it. Because originally, this is usually the original swatch you'll see. Like, these original three are the ones that you would see. And then they added in more down the line. I think when we got the Pride update for pronouns or... No, I think it was when we got the It Gets Better collaboration a couple of years ago. When they added in these, like, new photos. Which I think are very cute. Um, But yeah, this game... Oh, the, oh, the get to work in the corner by the TV. Oh, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that one. Yours was base game and holiday pack. Oh, that. Okay, yours was the base game and holiday pack. Awanu's was the one with like base gaming one plant from get to work. That's right. That's right. I feel like, honestly, you're not missing much when it comes to like that one plant. Oh, it's uptime, Freya. Uptime. Alrighty, but can we get some lovely claps in the chat though? Please and thank you for Awanu for that lovely, lovely build. As of always, we love a good shell challenge and we love support and people. Also, I know Tabico is lurking. Um, we'll skip Tabico for now and when they come back. But next we'll do um, Athena on the docket. Dun, 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 dun. I've been live for 30 minutes, which feels weird. <laughs> it doesn't feel like I've been live for 30 minutes, but it feels like I have, but I haven't at the same time. But I love. Ooh, a Zen living room. That's different. Very nice. Oh, interesting. Alrighty. This is a very Zen living room. So, peace. Harmony, enjoyment, what we got going on here? Okay, the blue does give it zen vibes. I love the little decor on the bookshelves from Dream Home Decorator. Those are very nice, very cute. Oh, well you have like a yoga corner. Oh, wait, that's cute, that's cute. You have like your yoga mat and then you have your meditation little stool with all your workout equipment over here with your dumbbell and your plants. A little candle. That's cute. Everyone needs like a yoga corner, honestly. Just to kind of get away from life. Relax a little bit. 
I love all the paintings on the wall too. This is very nice. Very nice. Oh, even use the stereo thing from a uh, Get Famous. That's right. That's cute. It's very blue, which I do like. And I forgot that this flooring is blue technically, but it's not blue. It's like a light blue from Cottage Living. Nice. Those paranormal curtains are chef kiss. Oh, they are. I'm telling you, I love paranormal stuff pack so much. Everything with that pack alone, top tier. Top tier. Um, also, um, Ishmil, thank you so much for the resub, by the way, for seven months. I really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some hype in the chat, please? And thank you for that brand new resub. And can we get some lovely claps in the chat, please? And thank you for that lovely build as well from Athena. <laughs> Sorry, which pack is top tier? Oh, it's um Paranormal Stuff Pack. Because one, it was the last stuff pack they made until they went on a hiatus. And the swatches, the items from that pack alone are just really cool. I love the game. I love the build and buy. I love creative sim. Gameplay, not really for the specters, but I do like the fact that we have Bone Hilda and like some lore in there. That's not bad. It's a pretty good pack. Like to me, when I first got Paranormal, I literally thought it was custom content. Yeah, there will be a August shell challenge. Yes. Yes. We're going to spin a wheel at the end of the stream on what room we get. And then I will upload to the gallery after that. It took me 20 minutes to figure out which curtains to use. Base game needs more. We, yes. Yes. I agree with you 100%. We really do need more curtains in base game. Desperately. 100%. Yes. <laughs> All right. Next up on the list is Black Rose, which I saw yours earlier. What? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Robin, hello. Welcome in. How are you? Ooh. Oh, this was literally from today. Ah, I see your name, Witchy Dragon. <laughs> but this is a cozy living room that melds with old style or new style. Hmm. Old meets new. I like that. <laughs> oh, you're certainly in cats and you love paranormal. I love the outfits. It gives like 70 vibes of Scooby-Doo. Here's the door. Oh, look, there's my disenchanted house I built a long time ago. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what we got. I get a lot of builds from Black Rose, nice. Ooh. Oh, this is really nice. It does scream old meets new, or old is like old with new mixed in. I like that. This is very cute. Is that. Oh, never mind. I'm like, is that a built in one? Nice. It's, it's very woodsy. Isn't it so cute? All the wood tones. Even though it's all woodsy. The colors pop very well, like the couch is like pink. And then of course you have like your plants up here that complement it very well. And like your one painting and your seating area with all of your bookcases. Oh, look, it's our favorite thing, a salt lamp. We love a good salt lamp, don't we all? A good salt lamp goes a long way. It's from the pastel pop kit. If you know, you know. I'm just saying. And Dad, this was before. This was before you even bought one. So don't blame me. It wasn't me. Oh, yeah, the wall seating. Mm hmm. I don't know if your Sims can actually get to this or not, but I assume that they can. You love salt lamps. I don't even own one. My friend Dab does. I love this couch. What is it from? Oh, wait. What is that? Wait, actually, no, literally, what is that from? Oh, the book nook kit. Oh, that's a cute couch. I like the pillows. 
I feel like I have an eyelash in my eye. I don't know. But this is very cute. Also, the, the mismatch. Oh, wait, no, it's the one rug that's all together. Oh, okay, that's very good. And these curtains are from what? Growing together. Okay. Well, that's cute. Very cute. Oh, that couch snaps the shelf. Oh, it does. Oh. Well, that's nice. I like that. This is just, honestly, we need more module type things. And this is very cute. Literally perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I love the book the kids so much, honestly. But nonetheless, very good overall Black Rose. I love what you've done. I'm really curious on what the kits are going to be um, this time around, like the next ones that we're going to get. I don't know what they will be, but I'm excited to decorate with them at some point. But can we get some lovely claps in the chat, everyone? Please and thank you for that brand build, that grand build from Black Rose. Please and thank you. A cup of hot chocolate and done. Very good. Oh, I need to, I feel, I need to delete this app off of my phone. Okay. La Davy. La Davy. Larn like barn. I feel like I saw yours too somewhere. Haha, -ha, here it is. A cozy living room. Okay. Cute. I might have to go to the bathroom to see what's in my eye. Oh, wait. Oh, there's more on the other side. Nice. This is cute. Very cute. I'm a big fan of like sage green now. I don't know why, but I feel like some of the packs are really growing on me with the sage green. And I'm really liking the idea of the sage green that it brings me. I don't know why that did that. I'm gonna put that there for now. Um, but nonetheless, I like the general idea of this living room. It's very cozy, not too much, but just right. Oh, I don't even know what that said. Anyway, true. Thank you for the resub, by the way, for three months. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, also, Ektar, hello, welcome in. It's good seeing you today. We're doing shell tours right now. So we're kind of looking through all of the shells from the living room shell that we did last month or two weeks ago or so. But so far, pretty good. But it works very well. I don't think I've used this lamp properly. I know it's from the, that one kit, but I like the overall like color scheme. With a little bit of brown, tan, and sage green. Very, very good. What is? What 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 happened? I just saw a word got blocked, and I'm like, I don't know what that means. Oh, wait, that's right. Decor to the max. I always forget about that kit sometimes. But very good. Very good. I hope you're very proud, Ladavy, on that build. I'm glad that you all are like either stepping out of your comfort zone and trying something new or like just like participating in them and like actually submitting them. So I like that. I like that for everyone. Okay, hold on. I think I have something in my eye. I will, what I want to know, who invented eyelashes? Because, ooh we. Also, my glasses are very dirty. There we go. I don't know. Eyelashes should be banned because that's just too much. No me gusta. Eyelashes must be banned. Alrighty, Luna, you are next on the docket. I actually saw your, um, not TikTok, but you tagged me in an Instagram reel. I didn't watch the video because I didn't want to spoil it myself, but I saw that you tagged me and I'm like, oh, interesting. We have a ele wait, eclectic, yeah, eclectic living room that's all base game. 
that only uses like I think one item from the holiday celebration pack which by the way is free this pack this is the only free pack that you can get in the sims 4 besides the base game one now but pretty nice nice use of my Spanish thank you I that's the one word that I end up using a lot like no me gusta they protect your eyes. Well, they're supposed to when they don't fall in them. That's true. That's true. Um, my gosh. Also, um, Cytron Pound Cake, welcome in. How are you doing today? It's good seeing you. Oh my gosh. Oh well, I'm pulling out my own eyelashes anyway. But welcome in. We're currently doing shell tours today where we're touring everyone's shell that participated in the shell challenge. And so far we've done quite a few. We've seen some really interesting living rooms that are giving us some inspiration. But welcome in. I play a lot of The Sims here every single day, Monday through Saturday. Occasionally play like a little bit of Stardew, Minecraft, Animal Crossing, Wildflowers, Unpacking, which we're playing tomorrow morning. I'm so excited to play Unpacking tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't know you didn't tour them yet. Oh, that's all good. You're all good. The struggle of eyelashes. But yeah, it's all good. All good. I like when people post about the shells on social media because I can see them in different ways. It's very cute. It's definitely very eclectic with the colors that you've chosen. Like the pink, the gray, the blue, the yellow. It's definitely very eclectic, which I don't think we actually even have in an eclectic type pack or kit, which I think is very weird. Oh, you passed the uh, uh, Doritos soda in the, in the store today. Wait, oh, wait, Dorito. Wait, what is that right? Doritos or Doritos? Dar Doritos soda in the store. I have never heard that before in my entire life. That sounds interesting. Can you just imagine what could have been in your eye? Oh, I don't even know. It's either like dust or an eyelash or something else. And then like, I don't even know. It's I don't even know what that is. Oh, Haritos. Oh, Haritos? I haven't heard this. I must look it up. Hold on. I'm sorry, um, Luna. <laughs> now I'm just so curious. Hold on. Oh, tell me why I thought it was chips. I thought it was chips. So I was like, hold on. Dorito soda? That's messy. But then it's like, okay, it makes more sense. It's okay. I've never heard of this before. Let me show you. This is so cool, though. I ain't bad. I've never heard of this soda before. Gra grapefruit, mandarin, pineapple. I almost said sriracha, but that's like a non-alcoholic non sparkling drink. Fruit punch, mango, and then uh, tamarin. Tamar okay. Wait, I think it's at Walmart? Hold on. Walmart has this in what aisle? Aisle seven? What? How have I never heard of this soda before? Hmm. That's not bad. Oh, sangria? Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Normally near the gluten free stuff. Okay, maybe that's why, because I normally don't buy a lot of gluten-free stuff, but that makes sense. Okay, that gives me that give me some uh some good ideas then. Some good ideas. I need drink to try then. Nice. Wow. Nice. Oh, Latina section. Oh. Even five below. Wow. See, 
we learn new stuff every day in our streams. I I have to try it. I might try the I I love mango anything. What's tomorrow? Wednesday. I could probably go tomorrow or like this week or so. That sounds like a plan. Nice. Well, overall, Luna, <laughs> thank you for that because I did not know that was a thing, and now I know. But it's a very cute eclectic room. There's a lot of paintings on the wall that I'm not familiar. Oh, Sensational 2. Oh, this is a person on the gallery. Sensational 2 made all these paintings from references. I have to say, the gallery is so interesting to me. Because, like, they look like custom content, but they're not custom content. They're, like, actual Sims painting them from reference. And it's so unique. That is so cool. Oh, I originally had a fireplace on the TV, but I didn't like it. So now it's just a flamingo. You know, hey, flamingos are better than a fireplace. That's less of a fire hazard. <laughs> but I like this little fake, uh, this like little, it's like a fake vent, fake fireplace type of moment. I like that. Because what's this? Oh, those are nightstands. But I like that's very clever, very, very unique. I like that. Also, the floor is concrete from base game. Never used it. Hmm. Not bad. Nice. I love that. Very good. Very good. Can we get some lovely claps in the chat again? Round of applause for Luna. Oop. Here we go. Luna, Luna, Luna. But next up we have is... Um, Dabney, Dabney, you are next on the list. Are you ready? You know the gallery wall, isn't it nice? I need to get better at taking like, well not taking, but like making gallery walls in living rooms or just in general. I just tend to forget. But these are very, very, very clever. You're ready? Oh, interesting. Hold on. It's over here. I don't know what just happened. Hmm. Questionable. Interesting. Oh. Oh my. Oh wow. I see a lot of things in uh mod chat. Wow. What a time. Anyway, um, but Dab, it says it's a love, it's a family living room perfect for a family with a furry friend and a little bundle of joy. That's cute. Apparently Dab's a family game player. Interesting. Who would have thought? Um, also, Deidre B, welcome in. How are you doing today? Here's Luna forgetting there's another Luna in chat. <laughs> You know, hey, the Lunas will take over. Where's the door? Here it is. <laughs> this is very cute. I like the coziness of it all. It's very family-esque. has a family vibe. I'm in love. I love a good family gameplay. I love a good family room. This is my vibe. This is something that I would build. The thing is... Me and Dab have a very similar building style, I find. And I'm like, did I build this? But no, Dab did. Dab builds better than I do, because I just, like, slap plants everywhere. This is very cute. I like this. I love the piano. It, You know, the fact that we have this upright piano now, with growing together, it has made things so much more simple and easier to, like, just slap a piano in the corner two tiles, and call it a day. Best thing in the world. Best thing in the world. We have a little crib over here. We have a little, like, like This thing, the table for the, the, the media console with your TV. And then these couches and armchairs are from the book Nook Kit. Why have I not used the book Nook Kit? These couches are the best thing in the world. I'm doing pretty good, Deirdre. We're currently doing shell tours right now, actually. 
and we're looking at all the people's shows that participated recently and it has been going really really great very nice but this is so cool so if you don't have the book nook kit now is your chance to get it it's on sale barely it's 10 percent off so it's not that bad five dollars but i would say that the knitted like the pattern on the couch and armchair are really nice i gotta use that a lot more I desperately do. Yeah, apparently the kits apparently are 10% off. So like it's $4.49. They're very cute. Nice. Can we get some lovely claps in the chat, please? And thank you for that lovely build by Daphne. Daphne underscore Mallory on Twitch and the tube. It's on your list to get. Oh yeah. I feel like there's so many kits that I personally like using a lot and like the book nook kit greenhouse haven bathroom clutter kit everyday clutter kit little campers blooming rooms um country kitchen kit are like the ones that i mainly use pretty much every single day just because i like what they have when it comes to like the build and buy and of course like creatism has like some cool stuff too with the first fits kit and the engine arrival kit are really cool. Oh, we had to get food. Ooh. You eat them food nice and smell like shampoo and soap. You know, clean and fed. And that's what we all need in our lives. Being clean and fed. But very, very good though, Dap. I'm glad that you participated in the shell challenge this time around. But next stop is Ling. Ling, you're next on the docket. It is your time to shine. What is your name? His name is your Twitch name? Cool. Here it is. Let's see. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hello. Thank you. What a game? <laughs> Please. First of all, I love this door. Grown together, added in the best doors ever. We need more of them. I'm just saying. First of all, I love this room. I love the living room. I like the idea of all the mismatched like furniture. Wait, what's that? I was like, <laughs> I didn't know what this was. I was like, is that a child? It is. Um... <laughs> It's Yoda with all their trophies in the little corner. I love that. But I like how each and every like part of the room is like different. And I also like the couch swatch. What is this from? Grandma's couch. Basement treasure kit. Why have I never used this before? Oh. Oh. Well, I know what I'm using next time. <laughs> I forgot you had to look for Yoda. Yeah, I was like, wait. <laughs> this is very nice, though. I like the idea. What made you want to like use all like the trophies in like in the house? Because I'm thinking that the Sim or like people who that live here really love awards and are like award-winning people. So I like the idea. I just asked my crush out. You did. Ooh. Oh, that's so exciting wishing you the best of luck kaleidoscope very proud of you that's very cute so what do we have so we have programming cheerleading football scouting science sales music chess what else do we have what else is this one all-star trophy solar systems trophy mvp and then talent Oh, this is a, you know, I don't belong in this room because this room is made for champions and superstars and I am not one of those people. But I like the idea. I like the idea of it, though. Very cute. Very cute. And Air Dark, welcome back from your lurk. Oh, you were thinking the family was moving in, moving in or out and packing and the family was very active and the family heirlooms. Oh, okay. I get it now. 
Yeah, because all like the boxes are nearby and all piled up. I can see it. I can see that. Yeah, it does. Lee really does give like they're moving out, but or like moving in because how cluttered it is. Because like whenever you move into a new, a new space, you never have anything organized anyway, and you just have stuff lying everywhere. So I like that idea. I like the interpretation that you put this build. Very good. Very good. But nonetheless, I love that lore. Very good. I love that you made a story out of it because I think a lot of times what I always like to see is where people put storylines in their build where they have like a distinct idea of what they want, how it's going to look, especially just the overall like idea that's very good very good can we get some lovely claps in the chat for ling for that lovely cozy living room now i want to build like a house where people are like moving into their home and everything is just everywhere that's what i want to do now it's actually kind of good but very very good Oh, you moved into your house a year ago and I still have you all boxes to unpack. You know, same but not same. I finally got to a point where I started putting my clothes in their rightful place. And now I'm moving out of my out of my apartment in like two months. So I have to repack everything. So I'm currently organizing everything right now to make it better and clean before I leave. So oh well i've lived here for like almost two two for two years anyway so i'm like i need to go i gotta get out of this place i don't want to believe here anymore you just finished putting all your story characters into a world in san sequoia oh nice you just moved and it turned into a throwing my half stuff out yeah I need to go ahead and donate half of my clothes anyway because i got more clothes this past weekend so I need to donate a few things at some point. But uh Yeah, I feel like when you're like moving or like just like generally just going through your stuff, you look through your things and you're like, why do I even have this? You know? I don't know. But true Jackson VP, um, you are next for your lovely build. It's very orange. I like it orange is that a door no, that's a window oh that's an archway i thought that was a window <laughs> you know i'm actually watching true jackson vp right now so true jackson vp was filmed in front of a live studio audience Ooh, ooh, this is kind of nice Oh, you still have two boxes moving from the dorm into an off-campus lot. And it's mostly just accessories and books and stuff. Oh, okay, that's not too bad then. It's kind of nice. I like the orange. You know what? If anyone's doing the not so berry challenge and like needs like an orange type of room, you could download this one. It's actually very fitting for the orange gen, which is gen six. Yeah. This is very nice. I don't really use half of the stuff, but it's making me want to like use the stuff again. Like the ceiling light over here, never used it. Never used it. Just don't know how to. Oh, hold up. Never mind. What is it from? Growing. Oh, it's from growing together. Maybe that's why I've never used it. Because <laughs> it was the most recent EP we got. I never, I don't know how to use this light properly. Unless like, it's for a restaurant. I don't know how to use it. Architectural Digest, right? It kind of gets those vibes a little bit. Because I, I like the, the kitchen. I love all the, all the wall art in here on top of the cabinets. And then using like Dream Home Decorator for the counters and cabinets. And like the stove is from Growing Together. And the fridge is from Parenthood. This is very nice. Very cute. Very nice. You're going through an orange phase and now building a house around this living room. You know, I like that for you. I like that for you. Very good. Go through the phase. I'm going through like a K 
Taylor Swift era phase right now. But the color that I'm really liking a lot is like sage green. And I have yet to build anything like sage green like in The Sims yet. And that's how I honestly feel whenever I, it was in boxes. I had, I have no need or have repurchased so I might just as well throw out. Mm -hmm. Gen 6 bakes. Uh, I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gen 6 is a criminal who loves to bake and like something else that I can't remember. But yes, forgot about that one. But you did a really good job though on this room, True. Very good. Very nice. And Tabika, welcome back. And Jersey P, hello. Happy pre-birthday to you. Welcome in. Hopefully you will have a great birthday whenever your birthday will be. Oh, mischief, baking, and charisma. Okay. I never really could get into the baking one because I always felt we needed more stuff to bake. So I'm hoping that we do get more baking produce type stuff but hello welcome welcome in but congratulations though true you did a really good job on the build and i'm glad that you participated but next up on the docket is tabby k on the list tabby k are you ready are you ready tabby k Oh, the boot they ordered from Hot Topic come tomorrow, and the day is going to be long, but they get here. That's good. At least your stuff gets there. I like when stuff arrives on time. That way, I'm not like just like sitting and waiting for them to arrive. Because I had ordered peel and stick wallpaper from Amazon, of course, in yellow, and it arrived today, and I haven't picked it up from my P.O. box yet. So I'm just like patiently waiting to go out and get it and test it out at some point. Oh, there's a Yoda by the way? Okay, good. Depends on where. Witchy Dragon put Yoda on a chair. Oh, it's on Sunday, but they'll be celebrating next week when I go on vacation. Ooh, that's good. Well, I hope you have a fun vacation. You're trying to avoid Prime Day. Yeah, luckily for me, I didn't have to pay anything when I bought my peel and stick wallpaper because I had a gift card for like $8 and something cents, so I used that. Hold on. Never mind. Anyway, but this is very cute though. This is cute. I like the subtle, I like the simpleness of it. It's very cozy. Everyone's been building a cozy living room, but in a different way. And I like it. I like, oh, there you are. See, wh well, that's not the worst place I've seen Yoda. At least you're near like dirt and growth and things. So that's, you know, it's okay. I was like, <laughs> that's not the worst place I've seen Yoda. The worst I've, I've seen him in was a toilet. But it's very cute. <laughs> not for me. Oh, yeah, fish bowl, fish tank, toilet, an oven. You know, hey, at least he's near nature, and that's all that matters. <laughs> he's studying plant life, yeah. He's going to join the gardener career, by the way, All if y'all don't know. He's getting away from the Batu life and becoming a gardener. Mm-hmm. Assuming home improvement shows. I'm actually watching... Home Improvement on Disney Plus right now. And I never understood why Tim Allen was grunting like a monkey. That I never understood. But, you know, Tim Allen is Tim Allen. What can you do? Um, but it's very cute, though. This is cute. I love the little TV area. This one came with Get Famous from this coffee table. The couch came from Paranormal. The rug came with... The, the pack called Growing Together. And I never get to use all the swatches for all the rugs, but now I'm going to because I like how antique-ish it, antique it is. It works for a basement. <laughs> At least I put Yoda in a chair as well. Yeah. 
my ears for some reason keep hearing Prime Day as Pride Day. I mean, shouldn't every day be Pride Day? Yes, every day should be Pride Day. But also every day should be Prime Day for cheaper and affordable stuff on Amazon. But what can we do? Jeff Bezos wants money. <laughs> it took you a very long time to pick out a rug. Honestly, I can relate. We have too many rugs in The Sims 4 anyway that I find that it's hard to choose. Like, look how many rugs we have. I have all the packs. So it's like going through all this alone and then the swatches themselves. I'm like, this is too much. This needs to end. But I can understand though. But very good though. Very good though, Tapico. I'm glad that you participated. Your your bill gave me some ideas on what I can do with like rug placements and rug swatches. And also a few other things too. But I am happy every time you participate. Yeah, no problem. I always love doing the tours. They're always making me happy. Me placing, me building palaces, need to build CC. Oh, need to download CC for more rugs? Mm-hmm. You know what you can do though is like take two rugs and like just stack them on top of each other. That way they look like two different ones. Like you can take one rug and just change it a little bit. Like that looks like a whole new rug. Isn't that so cool? Same rug, one size down, but different swatch. That's what most people do is like they just take one rug and like size it down and make it look a little bit slightly different. For whatever reason, I don't know. It gives some character or a carpet as a rug too. That's also like another way too. Oh, no, you're all good, Jesse P. Welcome back. We have too many rugs in my game because I can't help downloading more <laughs> fluffy rugs. That's me. I have a tendency of trying not to download custom content, build and buy CC, but it just happens. I don't use it in my builds for the gallery, but I do use it for like my personal gameplay at least. But I can relate. I keep forgetting to do this with rugs. Honestly, same. The inspiration is just so good with it, for everyone's build. It really is. Um, but Car Car, welcome in. It is good seeing you today. How are you? I saw your post on Instagram earlier. Um, interesting. Hmm. But how are you? How's your your week? How was your weekend? How are things with you? Hold on. What is this? I'm checking something. Hmm. What was that? Yesterday? Interesting. Questionable. Oh, you have a show up too? <laughs> um, layering, wait, layering rugs is something, really something I should do more. I know the hack to have more fridge. Oh, fringe rugs, but I never thought of using different patterns. I don't know how to do fringe like rugs. There's probably tutorials out there, but I don't really remember. Okay. So next up on the list is um, Ish Mill or Lish Mill is next for a boho living room. Boho living room, I see. Oh. Behind hello. Welcome in. Yeah, no problem. I always honestly have to say that uh the cat looks cute. Um is my mom bringing over food? That would be great. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> um. Okay, here we go. Um, just busy with some things, but don't like to complain. Oh, that's all good. You know, everyone has you know things going on in their lives. It's understandable. Also, Neon, thank you for the pasta chicken, by the way. You know, the other day my back was so terrible, and I fixed it. What kind of food? Um, my mom said. 
pool chicken, watermelon, and egg roll in a bowl. So, I mean, I'm streaming and I can't eat it. So, because I'm here. <laughs> so, we'll have to make it again tomorrow. So. Well, yeah, that's what, that's what my parents are having. I am probably going to finish making my bean burgers that I made last night with some sweet potato fries. <laughs> oh, to lay the rug with the fringes, you just put another one. Oh, that does make sense. And no, we have not checked out your room yet, but no, we just came in time to submit a little ticket. We only have like one more left anyway. No, just in time. Also, Eric, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. You want some watermelon? So do I. I haven't had a watermelon in a long time. It's been only two weeks, so it's time to do it again <laughs> at some point. You know what I could go for right now? Pineapple. Pineapple would be really good. Also, Lish Mill, this is really cool. I love a good boho room. You know, recently I reinstalled, ooh, reinstalled G Shade in my game because G Shade's better than Wii Shade. But I recently reinstalled G Shade. And I feel like, in a way, it's cute. I don't know. But I really love the boho ness of it all. This is very cute. This is very nice. I love boho more than anything. And so whenever I get to see more plants, I'm like, I'm here for it. Oh, little good pearl. Enjoy your food. Uh, blackberry uh, sangria. Mm. I'm about to get, I have to buy that soda. Because it looks so good. You have pineapple in your fridge. I'm coming over. I'll be right there in like two seconds. <laughs> It's very cute. Very cute. This is too bright though. Too bright. There we go. A little bit better. But nonetheless, very cute. Oh, it's a fruit and a wine. Oh, I thought it was just a, a drink. I didn't know it's a fruit. This is very lovely though. Very cute. I love the use of space you added in each and every room, or like, or just step into the room itself, but how you jam packed all of the plants in here. What's that pointy plant from? Pointy plant, which one? This one? The exotic dewtone one? That one's from Island Living. This one right here. Island Living. Most of the stuff is from other packs, I would say. Like that one's from Blooming Rooms. This one is from that one pack that I can't remember, Cottage Living. Yeah, but nicely decorated. Next to the chair by the, below the window. Oh, this one. Or this one. Oh, this one right here. The snake plant. That one's base game. All they did is just size up the plant to be bigger and then used a pot from what pack base game so just base game yeah all they did was literally the size of the plant add a pot from base game and then cover it same goes with this one over here the wicker little basket under the plant just hide it with a little thing over here to make it more unique keep it a different tone yeah You've never seen that pot? Yeah, it came in an update a while ago. I'm gonna say like two years ago at this point. It's been a while since we've had an update from that pot. Yeah, but nice colors though. Nice colors. I, I wanna build like a boho room now. I wanna build boho. Very cute. Very cute. But yeah, so if y'all don't know, the horse pack comes out July 20th of this month, this year. So basically in nine days, we're about to saddle up and be a horse people. It's going to happen. Oh, there's more. Okay, there's more. Perfect. Good. But very, very nice. Amazing work, though. Let's mill. Very happy. Very proud. 
Okay, we'll get some claps in the chat, please, and thank you for that lovely build. I right, listen now. Very, very good. Very good. -a. So next up on the list is Tater Toes. And then we have Cosmic Oliver, then The Hunt, and then Jersey P. Let's see. Where is your thread again? Not the same. Let's say, let's say, let's say. What did, oh, hold on. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. I was like, where is it at? Yeah, it's kind of weird that it's that soon. It's kind of weird it's like it's that soon. I wish it was like a little bit further away so I can like collect my thoughts. But I'm like, you know, hey, it's all good. It's all good. I'll be able to play with horses in like a few days. I have a few builds in mind that I want to do that I'm kind of excited to do at some point. I was like, what in the yeehaw is this? Um, but it's the skylight. <laughs> yeah, that soon. What are you all going to do with the horse pack when it comes out? Any ideas? Any ideas yet? But this one is made by Tater Toes. And they made like a little like eco boho type of like room, which is very cool. And you know what? This will be very cool to have like a little skylight. I don't know what happened with this room when it up, got up to the gallery. But I will fix it for you by adding in a skylight. So that way we can get the good views. I don't know, the gallery is always so weird sometimes and I never understood why it was. Um, let's go that way. Oh. Oh, oh, wait, now I see it. Now I see why. It's always so funky. Never understood why. I feel like sometimes the gallery will always delete things and I never understood why they would. I'm like, if it deletes it, I will fix it. There we go. That's a bit better. Perfect. Oh, wait, that's even better with the lighting. I love that one. There we go. A winery slash nectary. You have a royal family type gameplay that I'll definitely be buying to create a vineyard. Ooh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. I want to build like some type of like nectary as well. Or like build some type of like horse ranch full of horses where you can just ride them for free or like with a price. Yeah. But this is much better now that we have the skylight over here. But it's very cute. Very cute. I love the I love the rug. And I also love the couch. It's giving like talk show host type of thing. You sit on the round couch, talk about your feelings and whatnot. It's giving that vibe. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Well, it's very cute. Very, very cute. It's nice. Who's here getting the ro the horse ranch? I'm definitely getting the horse ranch pack. I'm getting it. I'm going to play with it like crazy. I'm going to build or recreate spirit in The Sims 4. Because that's my ultimate plan. <laughs> but very good overall. Very, very good. Can we get some lovely claps in the chat though, please? And thank you for tater toes. And Kenya girly, welcome in. How are you? I hope you're doing well and swell. Yeah, the sunken living room. I want to start doing that more often, even though platforms scare me. I want to use it more. Erica, hello. Oh, but that's very smart. Putting that in Tartosa, a functional vineyard. Mm hmm. It only makes perfect sense to put it over there. I feel. You know what? It's like a little Italy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a family-owned winery nearby that also has a resident llama and goats. So you're going to recreate that. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's really good. Uh, okay. Who do, we, who do we got next on the list? Who do we have? Who do we have? Oh, Cosmic Oliver. My Little Ponies. Oh, that's smart. 
I always forget about My Little Pony sometimes. Do they still make things about My Little Pony or am I like too old? I, I had to buy the horse ones just for the fainting goats. You know, we all have our own that we like. We have our little choices. Uh, my choice that I like for the horse ranch are the nectar making because I like to be semi-rich and semi-poor in The Sims. Or your computer was struggling with a skylight. All good, all good. I figured it was a skylight based off like the hole in the sky. Um, I love platforms even if they pause. Uh, going up and down, yeah. But do clumsy sims even trip on them? You know, that's a good thing to know. Probably, you know. You know, I don't know. I never tested that theory. But it would make sense for them to trip. There's a new one on Netflix. Oh my goodness. How long can they go? How long can they go? Ooh. This is a cute little corner. This is cute. I like the plants. I'm liking all the hanging plants everyone's been putting on the wall. This is very cute. I like the part of like the living room over here with the couch. Paranormal stuff pack, by the way. And then this corner over here. Nice. Oh no, all good, all good, Jersey P. Thank you for letting me know though. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, you never had a clumsy sim trip on them, but they do fall from the bunk beds though. Oh my, that sounds dangerous. Hmm. You know what I would prefer? I would prefer for them to make another Barbie movie. Not a live action, animation. The one on Netflix was really great. I want them to bring it back, just saying. But what is this from? This is from what? High school years. Okay. Oh, a little like a little thing over here. That's cute. I don't know. I feel like every living room we've seen so far today have been so different. And I like how different it is. It's cute. Very adorable. But this was made by Cosmic Oliver, who made this build. And the way that you did it. I am pleased. Very, very pleased. Yeah, Paranormal is coming in strong today. I'm telling you, I'm very interested in stuff packs again. I need them. I want them. Desperately. Yeah, the last stuff pack was Paranormal. Last game pack was Werewolves. You know, we haven't had a game pack in a while. Because when did werewolves come out? I don't remember. But overall, love the idea, love the execution, love the style. But very good. Very good. Very good chance of, like, you know, good workspace moment. Cosmic Oliver, I'm glad that you participated and did our shell challenge. We'll spin the wheel for the next one today. We only have, like, two choices left anyway on the wheel. So all we have left is outdoors and then like a career miscellaneous room is all we have left. Very good. I think it came out last year, I'm pretty sure. I'm not a big fan of occult, so I never really keep track of that stuff. But I think so. Sims 4 werewolves. Werewolf. Um, oh yeah, wow, wow, wait. It's been a full year since Werewolves. It came out on June 20, wait no, June 16th, 2022. So it's been a full year since the game pack. That's so weird. You're doing Simsy Shell and bulldoze it six times already. That is why I haven't done it for those specific reasons. I'm, I don't want to put myself to that stress. I don't have time. <laughs> Alrighty. The last one for the day is Bahont. And what's right here? 
Summertown living. First time sharing. Wait, really? Wait a minute. I could have sworn you've done our show challenges before. Your first time sharing to the gallery. Wow, that's so cool. You had a little fun with that room? Nice. As one should. Well, I hope you do more. That's cool. You should post more builds. Nothing should stop you. No, no, no. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I was like, where'd it go? It's over here. <laughs> Very good. No, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I honestly cannot wait to see what you post next on the gallery. Because it's going to be really cool. We should post more. This is very nice. I like how you brought the outdoors to the indoors. It's like, it definitely is summertown living. It's giving like the desert, but on the inside. And I like it. I like this. I never would have done this before because I don't know how to make outdoors indoors, but I like the idea. You should never be embarrassed. You should always, I always tell people to post literally anything, even if you don't like it, because someone might like it. And I like this. Oh, hello. Um, But I like what you did, like the gravel flooring in the middle and like had sand over here with the tiles on this side. Separation, I like. It's, yeah, 100% outdoors, but indoors. Is what I see. They're like little plants under the little hallway table. I always want to call it something completely different, but it's not. This is a coffee table. This is a hallway table. This is like a lamp lantern. We have a little pet over here with a little give a dog a bone. So a cat stays in here. That's cool. That's cute. And all the little, little knickknacks from the little um, dresser as well. Cute. Yeah, the plant vibe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know the cactus one is really nice. I never get to use cactuses ever. Because I like lush landscaping. So I never get to use the cactuses. It's like, um, what's that one world? Oasis Springs. And like Palm Springs and one other world in... I don't know in the world that's like deserty, but still very cute though. Very cute. Yeah, yeah, you can do it now if you want to. Uh, what in tarnation? I don't know what I just looked at. Anyway, but behind you did a very, very good job. Yes, Strangeville. Yes, that's the other one. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, a little llama. That's cute. And also, um, chill. Chalala bread or Chalala loaves, technically, that we got in an update recently. That's cool. Cute. Oh, hello. But can we get some lovely claps in the chat, though, please? And thank you for that lovely build um, by the Hunts. This was their very first ever. Oh, I thought I opened it. Their very first ever shell challenge and also first time posting on the gallery as well. But very, very good. Very good. Uh. Let me go and open it. I don't know why I, I thought I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Never mind. Okay. It's up in the owl. You're going to go get the pack. Which one should I get? Hmm. Let's see what's on sale. We have quite a few. I mean, all the packs are on sale right now. Um, But I hope you post more. Behind, by the way, just saying. The more the merrier. But what pack, like, like, what are you looking for? Like an expansion pack, game pack, stuff pack, kit? I would say, honestly, if you don't have seasons, get seasons. Because it's, like, it's it's a must-have for me. Um, Oh, my good, It's 44% off. My goodness. The packs are $18. No way. That's cheap. 
did I see kits for $49? Yeah, so everything is on sale at different price ranges. Um, but kits are on sale 10% off. They're $4.49 right now. But the sale ends in two days. Enjoy your alert, Chris. And I'll thank you for the follow, by the way. Oh, you had a great time? Oh, good! So, we're gonna do our one more shell. Um, but not for our shell challenge, but this one's n different. Um, if you follow Dab on Twitch, she recently did a, a DreamWorks build. Everyone's a different DreamWorks build in The Sims 4. And I usually tour them on stream. <laughs> 30 percent, 30 cents off. Well, technically, technically, it's, well... It's like 50 cents off. This is smidge it. This is smidge. Did you get high school years? Honestly, high school years, it's a good pack. I like the I like the build and buying cast. That's always like my favorite. But gameplay, I'm discovering it in a different way. I don't like going to the high school as much as I thought I would. Um, the high school itself is pretty okay if you change it to a different one that someone else built. Um, I like career day. I do like graduation. But like physically going like every day, there's nothing to do there. But besides all that, the world's great. The townies are cool. I love the, the little carnival near the water. Not bad. I bought all the kits off sale because I never thought they would be a sale stage. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, some packs tend to be on sale. But yeah, it depends on what you're looking for, though, um, Swifty. Like, what are you, like, what do you already have? That way we can, like, narrow it down a little bit. Alrighty. Daphne, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, interesting. Questionable. Oh, here it is. Chat chose my build. Interesting. Did they, though? Did chat really choose your build? Because I don't think so. You chose that one. It was all you. I did not even pay attention where I'm going to put this. I'll put it over here. Why not? Oh, you renovated the high school and made a pride school and the school colors are pink, blue, pink, blue, white and lockers are rainbow and there are pride flags everywhere. Oh, that's cool. I want to probably build a new high school just to see what I can do and like test the waters at least. That's good. Also, Natalie, hello. Welcome in. I'm doing pretty well. I'm not dying from the heat because i have my ac on we're pretty good we were doing shell tours today actually and we're still kind of doing shell tours in a way we're touring dabney's dreamworks shell that she had built recently i didn't watch the stream but dab made a whole stream out of it also choosing a pack really depends on on like type of gameplay. That's true also. I don't really like occults at all. But I'm more of a family game player, so that's just me. Oh, they made my beach house have a gothic exterior and only one bathroom and a ladder instead of stairs. Oh my. Good job, chat. You did very well. Proud of you. And it was a masterpiece. <laughs> okay, so we can all guess together. This is what we do pretty much once a month, I feel. And Pixar is, or DreamWorks is a, a film, you know, thing in itself that I enjoy. But the list that we have, I don't know if I can show all this. The list that we have is Flushed Away, Megamind, Puss in Boots, Madagascar, The Crudes, Kung Fu Panda, Spirit, how to Train a Dragon, Over the Hedge, B-Movie, Shrek, Trolls, Shark Tales, and Rise of the Guardian are our choices. 
<laughs> but Daph, you're so talented. This is very good. So what do we all think the outside is? My guess, if it's like brick and it's like very abandoned-y, I'm going to give it mm, flushed away. Because that's the only that makes sense. Because I haven't seen flushed away in ages, but I remember like the sewer and like looking just rusty and crusty. But I liked it. I like it though. I honestly haven't used the, the roof texture in a while. And I forgot this roof specifically that came with um, um, werewolves has like a transparent, you know, panel on it. And I always forget about that stuff. Do you all think I'll like get a 10 out of 10 or how many rooms there are? Do you think I'll get 100%? I think I will. <laughs> I love the crusty. So do I. This room has a bunch of animals, a bunch of like wallpaper with like woodsy. Um, I'm going to say Madagascar. Yeah, I'm going to say Madagascar. Oh, I was right. Okay, good. Okay. I figured with, like, with the animals, like, it was getting close to like Puss and Boots for a hot minute somewhere in there, but not really. Or over the hedge at one point, but no. I'm going to go over here. The penguins. <laughs> you didn't see anything. I stopped trying hard and just went off. You know, hey, and that's what I like. Oh my. That's a gigantic horse. Um, okay. DreamWorks, yellow, um, dinosaurs, horses. Oh, spirit, right? Because there's horses in here. That's on the list, right? Yeah, spirit. Yes, okay, good. I was like, mm, I was like, I don't know. See, okay, it was tied between spirit. Nah, yeah, actually, no, it's just spirit. Never mind. We really don't have anything for spirit, like, at all. Well, technically, in nine days, we will. <laughs> in nine days, we will. Um, okay, so this room. Um, okay, cat tree. Oh. <laughs> Poots and boots. Poots and boots. I like the hair. Nice touch. <laughs> <laughs> the hair. Kind of, you know, very fitting. I love the guitar. Very nice. <laughs> you know, very nice. Love the detail. <laughs> Does he even have hair? Do you remember the scene she recruited? Kind of a, a little bit, but not really. It depends on what movie. Like, the actual Puss in Boots movie, or like, just in general. But no, I don't know what scene. Do you know? Shrek 2? It's been forever since I've seen Shrek 2. I have to go watch that film again, because I miss it. It's, oh, it's the hat. Oh. Well, that makes sense. It's <laughs> still very good. How to Train a Dragon. For this room. Also, keep on hello. Welcome in. How was your food with the friends? Hope it was goody good. What did you eat? Anything in particular? Honestly, the fact that I just saw the dragon on the wall is what gave it away. I'm like, oh, how to train a dragon? Easy. I'm what you call a Pixar Disney. DreamWorks stand through and through. I could be on Jeopardy and can name every film. Every film. I need a hero. Oh! Okay. Now I know what that... Okay. Yeah, that does make a lot more sense. I know that scene. Oh, wow. Kung Fu Panda. Because <laughs> Panda. This is a cute little kitchen, though. It's very nice. I love Snowy Escape. Oh, this is a room. This was like room six and I gave up. Oh, <laughs> so you kind of did it out of order, technically. Look at this cute kitchen. 
Palm Fu Panda. I love this room, actually. It's very nice. Um, oh, it's the same room. Okay. Over here. Um, the backyard. Um, there's animals. Um, over the hedge. Because I'm assuming because it's the animals on the hedge. Because it can't be anything else. And I haven't seen that film in so long. Like, Over the Hedge is an ancient one I haven't seen. How did he get that one? I, I assumed it was like the animals on the hedge itself. And that was the only one that made sense. I've seen that film before, like years ago. And I played the video game. And I just remember distinctly they were like on a hedge. Stealing snacks. And mostly in backyards. The Cat in the Hat is the best Pixar or best Disney, which, whoa, DreamWorks film by far. Oh, I agree. I agree. I feel like in a way, Cat in the Hat was just hilarious. I remember he cut his tail and I just busted out laughing, crying to the point where I couldn't breathe. I was like, I need trash cans, animals on a hedge and a grill. Yeah, if you want to know over the hedge, all you need to know is that backyards, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> but it's very good, though. Very good. We're going to go upstairs, though. Angel, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing today? We're doing shell tours right now. We're touring Dabney's shell, the crudes. Um, we're touring Daphne's DreamWorks shell right now, and it's going pretty good. I promise chat, I build much better than this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But this is a crude. Because it can't be anything else. And aren't they making another Crude's movie? No, no, wait, it's, um... They're making another Trolls movie. They're making another Trolls movie. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the Croods is a very hard thing to replicate in The Sims, I find. But this was like a good interpretation though. All of Rocks. I forget where you can watch the Croods. I think on Paramount Plus, I think. I've only seen like the first one and I don't really remember the second one at all. Oh my. Oh my. That's very green. That's Shrek. That's Shrek. Oh, Prime Video. Okay, so Amazon. Okay. What are they what are you doing in me swamp? What are we doing in me swamp? Ogres are like onions. They have layers. Literally. <laughs> I don't I don't really like onions raw, but in like different foods, yes. You like jazz? <laughs> you like jazz? <laughs> that bathroom scene was very funny. What are we doing in the swamp? I really like the cruise just because the family looks like a lot like mine and I felt oddly relatable. I just like that they were all in the stone age. Imagine if they did like an ice age and the crudes crossover. Now that would be very cool. This is the B movie, by the way, if y'all don't know the B movie, if you can't tell bees, 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 and more bees. So again, I say, do you like jazz? <laughs> oh, this is very good though. Oh, we're touring. This is Dabs. Yeah. <laughs> this was the uh, the DreamWorks build that she did on stream a couple days ago. And we were at that. Let's tour it. Why not? You like jazz? <laughs> um, but if you. Did you do the Shell Challenge coupon? Because after this one. Um, we can tour yours if you did it. And uh, we're going to roll the next theme anyway after this. This one is... 
Rise of the Guardians. Which, you know what? That is a very underrated film. Rise of the Guardians. It's so underrated. But very... Oh, my. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, but overall, very cute, though. I missed the, the bathroom show, it looks like. I think so. I think you. Uh, some people missed the bathroom one. Yeah, that one did make me cry, too. Let me check it out. I think I did. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. But very cute. Um, Shark Tales is this one. Of course, sharks, water. It's definitely not Finding Nemo. Different franchise. But Shark Tales. Which, you know, I have to say that's another film that is also very underrated. Like, that was a really good film. I was really worried no one would get it. I feel like you put, like, the lesser-known DreamWork movies in here, which I like. But very, it's like a good guessing. Like, Shark Tales, good music, good vibes, good everything. And I'm like, there should be more. I'm going to put it all together and update it. You know, I was thinking how for all the shows we've done, I was thinking that we do tours of you all putting the rooms together and making a house out of it. And then we tour them. That's what I was thinking. Because that's a good idea. The decal has Oscar, Girl from Vibes. Yeah. What was her name, by the way, in that film? Oh, my. This is, um... Trolls? Yeah, this is Trolls. I guess. See, you know, I'm a very good guesser. I think I'm more like a child than I am. Because I watch so many, like, animation movies. Then I'm like, this is easy. Give me one idea and, like, I can tell you. It is. Okay, good. I'm like, Trolls? Which I'm so excited for the next troll movie to, that's going to come out. I forget when it's supposed to come out, but I know it's going to, it's happening. Angie. Oh, that's right. It's like, an, like Angelfish, but Angie, that was her name. That was a, that was a good movie. And of course, this is Megamind, as we all know. Megamind. The suit gave it away for me and, of course, all the technology in this room. But you know what? That one deserved a sequel. I didn't really care for Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. I wanted a Mega Mind 2. Not the Meatballs. But... Oh, yeah, that one was really cool. The World Tour one was very nice. But I'm so excited. <sighs> Trolls just has, like, a good soundtrack and, like, good energy. But this is, like, overall very, very good dab. Each and every room has their own separate theme. And we did some good guessing. I'm just that talented, you know? 14 out of 14. You know, just say, just put me on Jeopardy. And I will win a, a million dollars. If me, Dab, and a few community members here in the Spring Squad were on Jeopardy for Disney, we would win. We would win a million dollars. I changed my mind. Mega Man. Mega Mind is the best movie, but Can the Hat is the funniest. Yes. Can the Hat funny. Mega Man the best. Yeah. I agree. I agree. But it was very good though, Dad. Very good. Very happy. I'm excited to see what you do next. Um, you know, actually, if you don't have an idea, an idea that you could probably do is like maybe, uh, maybe like Disney Channel shows. Because you already did like a Disney villain and another Disney one. But with like Disney Channel, Disney Channel like TV shows. From like the early 2000s. Those could be very interesting. Like Hannah Montana. That's a raven. Stuff like that. That could be fun. 
but you should. Disney Channel shows from the early 2000s, just saying. Phil the Future, Hannah Montana, that's the Raven Phil the Future, Cowbells. I'm giving you some ideas, you know. <laughs> very good, very, very good. Lizzie McGuire. There's so many good ones. Phineas and Ferb. There's so many good 